We know her as Catherine Ryan, but you know her as Catherine Ryan. <laughs> KR, take the show by the scruff and bring it to heel. But bear in mind, we are only partially toilet trained. <laughs> Happily married to my husband, my one true love, my high school sweetheart. He will always be the second dude I lost my virginity to. <laughs> but before our adorable reunion, I dated one of the sleaziest liars on the planet. This one time, I found a used condom in his bin, and he had the audacity to say, Babe, I had a posh wank. <laughs> Here's what happened. Catherine. <laughs> now, I know this doesn't look good, but... It's all a bit of a misunderstanding, really. You see, the reason why that's in my bin is because I've had a posh wank. <laughs> now, I'm only Canadian, and you probably don't know about these sort of things, but in the UK, we are gentlemen. <laughs> and we do this rather a lot. Now, before Twitter explodes, no, Barry from EastEnders isn't my ex, though I did fuck him a couple of times. He... <laughs> He's here helping me out with some dramatic reconstructions of the weak-ass excuses people gave when they got caught cheating. In each question, I will give you three possible BS excuses, one of which somebody actually used. Tell me which one, and I will give you a point. It's easy. I put a shout-out on social media for anyone who'd had an experience like mine. One woman wrote, I found a bra in his suitcase, and he said, it's his from when he was fat. He keeps it as a reminder of how far he's come with his weight loss journey. <laughs> or, it's his late mother's. She died in a fire, along with all her possessions, apart from one bra left on the washing line. It's all he has left of her. <laughs> or, at check-in, a woman was two pounds over her luggage allowance, so asked him to help out. <laughs> so, which excuse did he give? All right, Dana, what have you put? I put in check-in mix-up. It was my bra. <laughs> it would be two pounds. Three. Three. <laughs> Stephen? Dana's wrong. I put in check-up mix-up because it was my bra. Oh! <laughs> and Richard? Dead mother. You can't... <laughs> you can't mess with the dead mother. Well, you can, but it's not right. <laughs> um, well, let's see if you're right. Well, this... This is mine. Before we met, I had very big moobs. And I keep this as a reminder of my weight loss journey. <laughs> Still quite painful to talk about, actually. And very unfair of you to body shame me. <laughs> yeah. The answer was A. He claimed it was his bra. You know what I carry around to remind me of when I was fat? My son. <laughs> No points for anyone, I'm so sorry. For your second point, can you tell me where this one is going? Caught my ex sending dick pics, and when I confronted him, he told me... My friend needs these for an art installation about male body image? <laughs> these are from my mates. We're just comparing our dicks. <laughs> or, I was trying to take a picture of my leg. I didn't notice my dick slip into the frame. <laughs> Dicks can be so slippery. Dana, what excuse do you think he gave? I think he gave the excuse of dick comparison because we know how it works with size. You know when it's so big or small that there's rumors? Well, this is how they start. Really? <laughs> Stephen, what do you think? I'm gonna go with art. You say art about anything and you go, yeah, I mean, that's, that could be art. It's art. There was a vagina wall. Yeah, the, the penis, the penis. Wall. <laughs> it wouldn't make it as a floor. There could be... <laughs> <laughs> or a sprinkler system on a roof. <laughs> and, Richard, what's your answer? I put dead mum again, because... <laughs> again, <laughs> you, just, <laughs> you just say that. So, if you were caught taking a dick pic, you would say... I say it's the only thing left of my dead mother. <laughs> well, let's see if you're right. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> now, now, I, I know how this looks, but... I was just taking a picture of the old todger to... send to the guys at the golf club. 
I know you don't like how much time I spend there, but you know, you, you could at least give me this. I mean, why do you always have to make everything a, a, a thing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that's a point to Dana. Question three. This is another post from one insightful dame. I spotted a hickey on his neck, and he said, I got stung by a wasp, and my mate tried to suck out the sting. <laughs> or, I woke up with it. Maybe you did it to me while we were sleeping. <laughs> or, I fell off a bar stool and stabbed myself in the neck with a pool cue. <laughs> I want to write dead mouth. I know, I can think of it. <laughs> but it's hard to know whether it's diminishing returns or it's gonna get better. <laughs> I'm not sure dead mum jokes ever get no. better, do they? <laughs> it depends on the decomposition. <laughs> Dana, what's with the hickey? What do you have? I think he woke up with it, and I think it's plausible. I once had a whole karate fight when I was asleep, so... Whoa! <laughs> Stephen, what's your answer? I put wasp sting. Richard? I wrote pool cue stabbing just because I want that to be the case. Dude. <laughs> I would salute anyone who made that as an excuse. <laughs> All right, let's see if you're right. Well, this... How did I get this? It was crazy. I'm talking to Mike, right, and I'm like... And I'm telling Mike how proud I am of you, baby, of all the things you're doing at work. Suddenly, I fall off a bar stool, manage to stab myself with a pool cue. <laughs> and you will never believe how I got the bite mark next to my balls. <laughs> Richard, you get the point. Well done. Tell you what, the moral of this is don't go out with Barry from EastEnders. <laughs> it's time now for your final question. It is worth up to two points, and we're going to find out how good each of you are at thinking on your feet. I will describe a compromising scenario that suggests you might be doing the dirty, and tell me your excuse. If I think that you've been cheating, you'll get no points. If I'm unsure, one point. But. If you can explain it and leave me confident that I can trust you, you will get the full two points. And by the way, in a relationship with me, two points does mean anal. Take it or leave it. <laughs> what do you get for three? <laughs> Dead mum. Dead mum. <laughs> Stephen, you're first. I get home late at night after performing another sellout arena show. I immediately notice you've got what looks like lipstick on your collar. How do you explain yourself? I was on the way back from the pub and uh, a woman was walking her dog and the dog uh, went into cardiac arrest. <gasps> so I got down on my knees and I gave, it, um, I gave it that stuff and the dog came back to life and I hugged the dog and the dog was wearing lipstick. <laughs> done there. I have four dogs and they're those tiny ones that shiver and piss from their eyes. <laughs> I'm always like kissing the backs of their necks so they smell like perfume and they do have lipstick on them. So I would say such a story like that, I'd, I'd be inclined to believe you and I certainly couldn't be mad that, that you lied if you did. So I, saved a, I saved a dog. You saved a dog's oh, life. Thank you. Two points, Stephen. Thank yes. Dana, you're next. Okay. We're sat on the sofa at home. Each of us is scrolling through the gram on our phones. Suddenly, a ringing sound comes from your handbag. How do you explain that you've got a second phone? Well, the thing about the second phone is I started doing um, lives and I didn't want you to know about it. And the first phone ran out of memory. So I had to get the second phone to do my lives, I was a little bit ashamed and I was also doing a surprise for you uh, on the live, so I had to get the second phone so you wouldn't find out. A question from Richard? My question, what a live? What a live? What a live? <laughs> what a live? So basically a live is when you broadcast live on Instagram, right? So you right. just press the button that says live and then uh, it's live! I and, see. And, and, and Instagram? <laughs> Did you come here in a time machine? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Stephen oh, you... and I from the past. Yeah. <laughs> Dana, you know me, I always believe women, apart from when the Kardashians say they've had no surgery. And so, uh, I have believed a lot worse. I'll give you one point for that, Dana. <laughs> Richard, you are next. Yes. A parcel arrives at the house. 
I can tell it is from a sexy lingerie shop. I assume you've bought me a gift, so I open it, only to find it contains some silk boxer shorts that say on a note, Dear Dickie, thanks for the memories. <laughs> What's your explanation? My mother died. <laughs> She died in my arms, sewing these boxer shorts. Right up until the very end. Beep, 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 beep. Wow. What's her corpse dragged through the sewing machine? Really disrespectful. I'm going to deduct one point for yes. Stephen. Very disrespectful. Richard, you had me at dead mum. Thank you. Two points, Richard. Thank, Thank you. you.